Today, let's do a pre-flight on an EC-130 T2. Now, it's always beneficial to start a little bit far back from the helicopter when you start a pre-flight. That way you can see things that you may not necessarily see when you're up close. So we want to make sure it's sitting right. There's no leaks. The blades look correct. And we'll also look up into the uh, air intake for the heat exchanger, make sure there's not a plug or a bird's nest, so forth, up there. We're going to come up here to the helicopter, and we'll look underneath here and make sure there's no damage on the pedo tube. We're going to look at the belly of the aircraft and make sure the landing and taxi lights are good. Now, on this particular helicopter, you'll notice that it is equipped with a retractable landing light that's controlled with the mechanism on the collective head. Underneath the helicopter here, we want to make sure that our temperature probes for our VMD, FADEC, and Garmin system are not damaged. Uh, you will also notice there that the white plastic part with the yellow tab coming down, those are our static ports. We want to make sure that there's not a plug in either one of those holes. So we'll come back here. When we're looking at the nose of the aircraft, we're looking for obviously any damage. We're looking at the window down here and make sure there's no cracks. The center window, there's no cracks. We have our trim string. Uh, it's folded down right now, but we'll make sure we unfold it prior to flight. Make sure the yarn is good on there. We'll look around here at the windows. Again, making sure that there's no cracks on the windows. On this lower panel here, we're going to make sure that all these screws are present. Over time, uh, they can get a little loose and actually fall out of the helicopter. So you just see a hole right there. So you want to make sure that they're all there. So underneath here at the forward cross tube attachment point to the airframe, there is a rubber bushing that we want to make sure that it's free of cracks and that it's all the way around the metal of the forward cross tube. Then we'll inspect the forward portion of our landing gear, make sure that the tubes are in good condition, the step is secure. If we're going to be doing any kind of uh, running landings, we want to really make sure that we have our carbide skid shoes installed here. I will come up and look at the pilot side door. Make sure, again, that that's secure, no cracks in the windows. We'll continue back here to the rear sliding door. Underneath here, we have those screws again. We want to make sure they're all present. The door looks in good condition. We'll continue back here to 